Good morning and welcome to Coffee Walk. I got a cool one for you today. We're going to go through the 1976 to 1983 Jeep CJ5s. CJ5s, the most iconic look on the CJ line. And they've always stood the test of time. They're just, they're awesome. I was in the lot yesterday walking around. I was like, wow, I think we have one of every year CJ5 here right now. Either waiting for restoration or just came in to be parted out or customers have them in for service, or ones that we just bought. So let's go check it out. In 1976, the CJ5 was totally revamped and had some major changes. Let's go look at a 76. It's the first year of what most consider the most collectible CJ5s, which are the 76 to 83s. There are also some unique features on the 76 when you walk up to it. The CJ5 emblems were actually on the side. You can see where these were. We've taken the rocker moldings and these off because we're prepping this Jeep for paint. And also these Jeep letters here are actually hand painted, which is really cool. And of course, I've shown you this in the past. You've got the inset cowl piece here, as opposed to the ones bolted on the top. And your fuel fill is round. And this particular CJ5 right here does have the tailgate. There's options for a tailgate or you had a solid panel. If you had the tailgate for it to fold down, you had to mount your spare right here. A really good rust-free local example, one owner 76 CJ5 that's in for restoration. It's gonna be really neat. And as you know, we reproduce all these emissions decals. People are like, oh, I can't believe that I just got coffee on this beautiful Jeep. Oh well. Gonna drink more of it. We are gonna paint it, so it ain't gonna hurt it. This is how we come up with such killer decals. Not only do we have a genius graphics guy, but look how nice that is. So over the years, we've had hundreds of, well, thousands of CJs in here, and I find one that's that crisp. We'll tidy up our decals sometimes. So this is gonna be a really neat one. So 76, first year. They also, you can get disc brakes, was an option. But when you walk up to one, one of the biggest and quickest ways to tell also if you're looking at a 76 or newer, if you look inside, you've got a Saginaw column, which a lot of people refer to as a GM column. Now these steering columns do look just like a General Motors column. There are a lot of parts that are interchangeable, but they are not the same. If you've got a 76 to 86 Jeep CJ, you have to have a CJ column. You can't use a column out of something else. People make that mistake all the time. T-153 speed. Also on the 76, 77s, the radio area was smaller. So the delete plates are different. That is an incredibly rare delete plate. So some really neat stuff on the early ones. Now let's find a 77. Wow, we just have one right here. So this is a limited edition 77 Golden Eagle, just absolutely stunning. And you can also see that it's got the, the inset in the cowl, except for the one on the top. What a beautiful, beautiful Golden Eagle. You can also see that this is a Levi's edition. If you look at the buttons, they say Levi's. What a stunning Golden Eagle. Tilt wheel, tack, clock. Now we'll go look for a 78. I think I just happened to know where one is. 1978, when you walk up to these, lots of changes from the exterior wise from the 77 in that the cowl's different, the fuel fill's different in the back. So you can tell right off the bat when you walk up to one that's a 78 or newer. Boy, this coffee's good today. 1978 CJ5. Now this is aftermarket stuff, but that's how you can tell by walking up that you're looking at a 78 or newer. Something that's really unusual on this Jeep too, when you order these Jeeps, everything was an option. They didn't order the flares. This Jeep's never had flares on it. Rushed free Arizona Jeep, really cool, 1978. And another really rare option on this Jeep. If we'll come around here, you guys gotta see this. I'm gonna poke my head in the other side. Again, this is a tailgate model. And this is a rust free Jeep, so cool. You can see how the fuel fill's different on the 78 and up. Instead of the round, it's got the square one. But this Jeep was special ordered with a T18 four speed. Super rare. This first gear and this was a 632 to one low. This thing would crawl up anything. What a cool find, a rust free, no flare, original paint, 78 with a T18. Uh, this one is ours, it's gonna come in and be serviced and built to customer specs however they want it because we are kind of like the burger king of jeeps you tell us how you want it and that's how we build it out nice original hardware for the soft top now let's go find a 79 i just happen to know where 
very sought after one is back over here. This is truly Coffee Walk. Now we bring these Jeeps in from all over the country, everywhere. Um, I wanna to touch on another 77 that I passed by and shouldn't have. Blue 77 Renegade, Levi's edition, local Jeep. I mean, bought this from 10 miles from the shop. We had never seen it, we had never serviced it. One family owned from new, really a neat color, and a V8. Power steering, power brake, 1977, V8, no rust. What a cool Jeep. Now this one did come with the flares, had been taken off. Uh, it was a Levi's edition. It's got the wrong seats, but of course we got the right seats in the warehouse. This one right here is probably a perfect candidate to uh, come apart, be cleaned up, clear coated, back together, back to OE specs. What a cool 77. But now we hit on the 78, now we're gonna go to a 79. Okay, for a lot of the guys out there into CJ5s, they love the Silver Anniversary Jeep cult following on them. Just brought this one in all the way from California. California blue plate, which those of you that are into the license plate scene, that means it's a one owner Jeep. And we got us a custom bungee here. Gotta love bungee cords. A T18 silver anniversary with no rust. So on the hit list of rare silver anniversaries. One with a T18 out of California with no rust has got to be on it. Now, 1980, we're going to walk by one that's rougher than a stucco bathtub, but then you can see we will literally buy them in any condition. But it is a rare color and it is green. So 80 CJ5. We just hauled it in from Arkansas. It does run and drive. Very undesirable Iron Duke four cylinder, but it does have a really great option. It's a great color, but check this out. Worn 8274 winch, and it actually does work. We've tested it. Now, this Jeep looks really rough, but it's not rusty. It's original paint. We can either part this out to save a bunch of other ones or restore it. Tell me what you think. There's an 80. Now I've got a really crazy special 81 to show you guys. Uh, if you guys got any Austin Healy's laying around you know, in your garage or barn into the field, let me know. We buy those, love them. Or perhaps a 190 SL. If you see those laying around, we buy those too. And yes, we have one of every year's scrammer and we'll hit on that soon. I don't want to squirrel off too much, but pretty cool cinnamon, Laredo scrammer, really. So I haven't crowned a Holy Grail Jeep in a while. Out of these last three or four I'll show you, two of them are probably Holy Grail CJ5s. And I'd like to know which one you think is a Holy Grail CJ5. This is an 81 Renegade. Very rare in itself. But what is really sets this one apart is it is a factory and you walk up to the VIN right here you ever see one of these, I don't care if it's a wrecking yard, wreck roll or whatever, you see an H, 81 H code is a factory V8 Dana 300 transfer case CJ5. Look at that. Power steering, power brakes. Here's your emissions decal. Of course, the bin will prove that it is what it is. 81 Dana 300 CJ5. Look at the chalk mark here on the firewall. That is really cool. And this Jeep has got very low miles. Unfortunately, it's sat outside, but it's not rusty. This would be a killer one to build. Probably nice enough to patina and keep. But if you look in here, T176 shifter, Dana 300 transfer case. The Jeep's also got a tack in the clock. This Jeep only has 26,000 miles on it. So is this a Holy Grail CJ5? Boy, I sure think it is. I can't even remember the last time I saw an H code 304 V8 CJ5. We've had quite a few CJ7s, but not fives. Now let's see what we got for 1982. 
When you guys see this one, you're gonna freak because it is really rough, but I am not gonna part it. I'm gonna restore it because I've never seen one of these. I'm getting my exercise today. My coffee's almost half gone. So all the 35 years I've done this, I have never seen a black 1982 Laredo with nutmeg stripes and nutmeg interior. Boom. It's rough. But man, I think it just has to be brought back to life. It's got the right tag on the firewall for factory P1 black, the right code for nutmeg interior, original paint still in the tub, correct VIN number, emissions decals are still inside the tub for 1982. This is a crazy rare Jeep. I can't even, this will be so stunning when it's done. The nutmeg seats are just beautiful in 1982, the nutmeg stripe kit. So looks like it should be parted out. We are not parting that, we're gonna build it. Now let's go look at what I think is uh, the second Holy Grail Jeep. Actually, two more Jeeps till we get to that one. So we're gonna look at 1983 Jeep CJ5s. 83 was a carryover year. They thought they were gonna end production in 82. They didn't. They made 2,815 1983s and they were all six cylinder T176s. That's something a lot of people don't know. Again, we go anywhere in the world to get these. We went all the way to Long Island, New York, on the island to get this Jeep, and it cost me a fortune to get it back here. One owner from new, 1983 CJ5. Like I said, they're all six cylinders, all T176s. You can look at the head right here, and the date cut on this head is 83. Some of them were 82 date codes because they were built in 82 for 83, but when you got an 83 CJ5 with an 83 head on it, of course, here's our 83 emissions decal. You've got one of the very, very last ones built. Now, let's go to the Jeep. Well, also, let's look inside this. There's some neat stuff in this thing. Original top, check that out. Stunning original seats. Even though it's dusty, I'm showing this stuff as we found it. Radio delete plate. Again, T176 to 300. 23,100 miles. Now, this is going to be a little difficult for you guys to see, but an NOS Jeep toolbox the guy had in his attic. He said it was never put in the Jeep. And look at this. You ever seen any NOS rear bumperettes? Boy, I hadn't in a long time. There's a smattering of NOS stuff back here this guy collected. Really, really cool. NOS draw bar that was never put on. He ordered a bunch of pieces and never installed them. All right, now let's go see what I... Think is a holy grail cj5 we'll see what you think will it be the h code v8 81 renegade or will it be this 1983 cj5 yes we got two of them here which is incredible now what i want you to see on this is the vin number we're gonna tyler's gonna focus on it really really close so this was advertised in the denver newspaper by the denver jeep dealership as the last cj5 ever built with a special serial number the serial number is five zero 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 zero. How cool is that? And again, it is T176 Dana 300. That's the only way you could get them. Let's look under the hood. This is one family owned from new. So I've got two 1983 CJ5s right here that are one owners from new. Power steering, power brakes. Original emissions decal, and this is an 83 head, which it would be if it was the last one ever built. Now, if you go in the sequence of the serial numbers, that five all zeros numbers is not the last serial number ever issued, but we get into a whole bunch of semantics on that. The way Jeep ordered them, the way they built them, they didn't do them in order. But I actually have a newspaper article saying this was the last one ever built. It was issued a special serial number, pretty neat. So which one of these CJ5s out of everything we looked at do you think is a holy grail? I think it's either the 81 H code 304 or the 83 serial number 50,000 or, yeah, is it 50,000, 5,000, 50,000? It's a little early. Or maybe perhaps the silver anniversary with T18 in it. So there you have it. Every CJ5 from 76 to 83 here on the lot. Remember, we're Burger King. If you want us to build one for you, we will. Maybe you graduated in 76, gotta have a 76. Maybe you got married in 83, you gotta have an 83. I don't know. But please like, tag, share, and follow, and have a great day. Ah, getting old.